Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jo. Det var det. Meanwhile, I've been poked like six times in a row. Take that, you serial poker! And this is the test setup. And you, I'm filming this, and you can see it here. From the microscope. So if I push this button now... Change the state. There you can see, push again. Yeah, so I'm testing this and I measured voltage and so on. So. And this is the hot air gun, so you can hear the fan starts. And you put it back, it ramps down again. So and the fan stops when it's cool though. So, so I used it on those uh, LED there. So, because there was evil, <laughs> they are evil, especially that one. This one wasn't so bad to solder by hand, but this one is like. Since I experienced problem with this one, I'm going to check this under the microscope. Okay, so if I put. two next to each other, you can see the difference. You can see uh, the board on the right side, it has the holes, um, the solder mask is offset up upwards and this one has offset downwards. Uh, what I'm looking for is exposed copper, where it shouldn't be any. So. Check this board out. There seems to be a mistake here. It looks like there can be a uh, short circuit on the output for this is ground and this no, this is 5 volt and this is ground. So there is ground to 5 volt here. Okay, so now I'm measuring resistance between the ground and 5 volt and there sh there's no components there, so there should be an uh, open circuit. But no, there's a dead short. So last night I soldered up a bunch of these onto connectors, so and it uh, was uh, really fast to make ten of these. But uh, putting them on the connector here was a bit slower. So and as you can see, I have also cleaned them to look nice now. So this is how it is mounted though. And uh, the middle pin there, you can see it has a solder blob. So Yeah, so I'm happy about that. So, But I didn't film anything, so I will uh, take this one. This is a broken MOSFET and this is the board that is broken. So uh, I don't have any solder paste, but I will... Um, Pre-tin it, and then I will uh, use the hot air gun. So uh, after cleaning, it looks something like this. As you can see, it's damn good.
it's not bad. on there doesn't have to be perfect and then just start the reverb station just going to set it to 240 yes okay 408 speed so just get me some more light on here See, it's already flux is melting. And, uh... Okay, I put the uh, lights down because, uh, or else I don't get the good frame rate. Okay, let me try again. I put something heavy on it. Put something heavy in so let's see again then. You see it starts to flow now. And you can see that uh, you can see the tin is leaking up on it. On the legs. So since I didn't have any solder paste, what I did last night was to uh, heat and bring the <laughs> tin in on an angle like this. Yeah, <laughs> and then on the other side. So, but this is a broken ship. So, I have my clear shrink tubing and uh, if it's snuggly in there as you can see yep so you can see it down there so. the green one is the one that's the innermost that's that one is not as important as the red one you know so yeah Uh, 
uh, this is usually uh, how I do it. I make one and then I make the rest. Because if I do the same mistake over many, then uh, yeah, I have to correct all of them. Houston, we have a problem. And now we forgot to do a heat shrink. <coughs> so I'm gonna make 10 of these because uh, I think it's better to make uh, one the same length because now I can insert it and I can do this. I think I'm still able to push it over, so yeah, so no problems now. This and then so wipe it off. So I'll get the fingerprints, push it over this, and what I do, I um, I push it a little bit further because uh, this uh, shrinks a little bit so. Uh, I'll try that. Let's see. I'm gonna start here because uh, it's as if I get better control when I start out here. So, uh, I have that. I have it at uh, 100. Oh, maybe let's heat this. <laughs> at 130. It's not much happening. One eighty. Oh yeah. Maybe that was a bit much. Okay. What do you think? So just just cool it down. Looks like it had uh, creeped a little bit more after it cooled down, so definitely put it out here. Oops, maybe I should actually test them before I put the heat shrink on. So, this, because sometimes <coughs> I want a little bit higher threshold, so then I piggyback a uh, 1 meg ohm over this programmed resistor. So, yeah, maybe I should do that. Yeah, that's one the one I'm worrying about. So that's spot on. Right there. Yeah, it's a bit high but it's acceptable. So Yep, it works. Let's try the one I have already assembled. Over here. So, 
see what that just looks like through the clear heat shrink. Let's switch it on. It's green. It's, um, if you look at it from this side, you see more of it. But I do like that it's uh, quite faint. I uh, power led on the Commodore 64 already, so I made it a little bit dimmer. But the red one should uh, be much brighter though. So. Let's see when that comes up. And let's bring in the meter also. Let's see what that's like. Five, four. Oh, that's one a bit lower, yes. So let's bring it down. Five forty. Okay, maybe I should keep this one to myself because. There may be someone with a power supply with 5.41 or something. So uh, I do like to keep these as 5.41 or 5.42 at the lower limit. What? <laughs> okay, so I made like five of them, and um, now finally now I finally found out what what could have been wrong. So maybe before I continue do anything. Uh, I need to take this plastic off and I was thinking hmm they are working though but uh, am I gonna risk sending out to people stuff that can short circuit their power supply and blow the fuse? Hell no! So no what I'm gonna do is uh, take off this uh, clear heat shrink tubing and then um, uh, do it again so what I've done with the next the ones I haven't soldered yet no attached cables, cables to yet. Yeah, the resistor next down there, uh, next to the minus. You see, I have plus and minus on them, on the inputs. And uh, uh, what happens is that uh, when you heat the wire that you are soldering onto there, the insulating plastic on the wire may melt a little bit when you solder this pad then maybe it is uh, touching the pin so what I've done with this five I have taken uh, some uh, discotheque <laughs> the nail polish so they should be insulated now and also to be sure I'm going to take the cable in and then solder it straight down and not on going over so it's going over and then down such that when the plastic melts it won't uh, it won't melt over here though yeah and there was something else I saw in the diagram and it's not so easy to see it here but you see the blue everything that's blue is on the bottom side so I can I can remove the red red traces so here the cable comes in here, so and uh, and it's dismantled and then uh, soldered here. Some of the insulating plastic is taken off, and then uh, maybe it is uh, short circuiting here. And look how close these are. But that's another point. Uh, I don't like this at all. But I have inspected those boards, and uh, there's no problem here. But if there should be a short circuit circuit from here to here there you see there and this one is actually V out and this is minus so where does the current go down well you have plus goes there into the MOSFET <laughs> the whole side of this MOSFET is input and the whole side of this uh, MOSFET is used as output and then you have the gate here it controls this MOSFET anyway so the current will flow here and then through the MOSFET and then out and since we have a short circuit we will not flow this way it will flow like this and then uh, this burns up or the fuse will blow so oh no way I'm not going to send people things that blow those things so <laughs> I could have cut this out of the video but how oh, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, I'm not having a big sale. Oh, I can't say this in case say that because it will affect my sales. Well, it's not just about the sales, this thing. Uh, 
it's about uh, learning electronics so yeah so what happened here then when I saw this problem well I had this uh, meter on and uh, and what happened was that uh, I'm measuring the power that comes in and not the power the voltage and it drops from 5 volt to two and a half about there 2.6 2.5 and I was thinking isn't that a bit odd if you are limiting the current, wouldn't you expect that uh, the voltage to drop all the way down? Because uh, if you have a short circuit, then wow, what happens then? But uh, you must remember that this um, this MOSFET this has a gate voltage. You know, you know, you need a certain voltage to turn it on. So once the voltage is dropping below the threshold voltage. Then it's not longer any any longer having a uh, in, it's no longer in saturation or it's no longer on. So, so I think uh, the transistor goes into a so-called uh, linear mode. Uh, so it behaves like a resistor instead. So it sort of regulates the current um, or, or the voltage. Uh, I won't, I won't go good for that anyway, <laughs> but I think that's what happens. So it, if it drops below two and a half, then okay, then it, uh, then uh, this uh, current limiter sees that it's oh the current is now dropping, and then the voltage go up, and then oh then this one uh, uh, starts to close again, and the current goes up, and oh this one sees oh it's more current, it breaks it down. So you can see that they are working against each other. So so you get sort of a uh, fixed point where they uh, regulate. Yeah, and I think that's what's happened. So it was a little bit weird. So, <laughs> so yeah. okay, this one doesn't look so bad actually, but uh, the problem is here. Uh, so we get the microscope, but you can see there's a pin going from plus to plus, and then you have ground in the middle. And the problem is that the shielding there isn't going far enough, and or I think the spade is too sharp on the the red one there, so it shorts if they are pushed together. Not supposed to be pushed together, but I think I did that. Anyway, so I will add a double heat shrink there. I have done that on these two over there, and not this one yet. And I have made the five already, so I have to open the, them also. Oh, that's really boring, but hey, safety first. Okay, so I have the microscope out, and you can see the problem here. <coughs> You're seeing there, so there you see. Yes, I, I think it's uh, in here the problem is. Yeah, so here's the double hitch drink. And you can see. I try to push it down as far as possible 